Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the force per length from our pressure distribution, which we've developed in the previous two videos. So just a quick reminder of where we're at. What we've done is we've got our wall with the clay and sand layer, and we've developed pressure distributions for the clay and pressure distributions for the sand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine this now. So we had a pressure distribution from the clay layer, which looked like this. So I'm just gonna redraw this on this new page. So we had So we had this depth was 1.41 meters. This depth was 4 meters. We had a stress of 13.8 kPa. And at the bottom here, it was 32.3 kPa. OK, so that was from our sand layer. And then in the previous video, sorry, if that was from our clay layer. In the previous video, we found the pressure distribution for our uh, sand layer. So I'm just going to add that below it because that the we had the um, the clay layer and then the sand layer. So for the sand layer now, this will jut out further and it will become 46.2 kPa. So 32.3 is this length there, 46.2 is this longer length here, and we know that this depth was two meters. And this extended further out to 75.3 kPa. So all I've done is I've combined the clay layer and the sand layer, the pressure distribution we developed, and now we're going to be able to find the force per unit length. So just a quick reminder of what we're doing. What we're doing, we did this in the flow net video where we had a particular pressure distribution. So in our case, it looks something like this, and we had a wall. So our wall is going, this is obviously our wall, the, the depth of our, total depth of our wall. So we had a four and two meter um, layers, which was, had a total depth of six meters for our wall. So we developed along our wall, these pressure distributions in 3D. So it looks something like this. 